we have Whoa. Hmm. That's different. Everything wrong? Yeah, you can just ignore this. Okay. I realized my mistake. It took me just a couple seconds, I'm sorry. Uh, earlier I said print score, but score by itself doesn't exist anymore. I have to put the pound symbol at the end of it to indicate that uh, which variable I mean. Score doesn't exist. Score with a pound symbol does. I'm sorry, simple mistake. Execute. And hopefully at the you know, risk of looking ridiculous, 5.5 appears. Very good. Um, the other type of variable is called a string variable. String is text. So if we want score to equal, I'm sorry, at, when you're defining a string variable, you always have to put a number symbol at the end of it. And score equals uh, 50. There we go. And we can print score, remembering to put the uh, number symbol at the end, and, or I'm sorry, the dollar symbol, execute, and 50. Now, once again, remember, this 50 does nothing with um, numerical values for the most part. So 50 isn't actually the number 50, it's just the word 50. And it's important to remember that. There are, um, no, we'll get into that later. Okay, so we have integers, real numbers, and strings we've gone over, and we've gone over the print command. Uh, I think that's good enough for the first tutorial. All right. Um, Next tutorial, probably going to go over different uh, branches, the if statement, um, for next, maybe while, um, and uh, going, so going to go over maybe the re screen refreshing, but we'll see, okay? Uh, I hope this was helpful. I know it's a little rough in places, but uh, I'm still learning, everyone's still learning. So, uh, if you're a beginner, I hope this was in informative. Thank you.